Hey friends, Skull Eagle here again. I play for Denver Roller Derby's Mile High Club, Team USA, and formerly for Rose City Rollers Wheels of Justice. I'm here today to talk about Bont's Prodigy Plate. And it's been a long time since I've ridden the nylon plate, but having recently tried these out so that I know what I'm talking about, uh, it was kind of shocking to my system to feel how much more give a nylon plate has compared to a metal plate. Um, if you head over to the Athena plate review that I did, I kind of go into depth about uh, weight to plate ratios and how that can affect the feel and performance of a plate. And that is certainly certainly real with uh, this plate. What I It just took a little bit of getting used to for me, mostly because I've been on a more advanced fully metal plate, but then going down to this, it was totally possible and felt fine after a little bit of skating uh, to do all the things that I normally do on my metal plate, also on this nylon plate. Something to consider, even as an intro plate, is uh, body weight or height ratio to the type of plate that you're getting and the kind of performance that you desire. So uh, as an example, I have some teammates right now on my travel team in Denver who are on like the Bont intro plate. But because their stature is petite, there's not as much flexion going into the nylon or composite plate. Therefore, that plate still gives them the kind of reaction a metal plate would give them. For me, on the other hand, as someone that's more large and in charge, I need a I need a plate that's not going to overly be or be overly flexible or overly um, smushy. <laughs> and it's hard to put. Uh, words other than onomatopoeias to that to describe the kind of performance that you get on the different um, makes and models of the plates that you get. But uh, that is something I would probably consider. You know, if if you're getting into the getting into the sport, making sure that you are picking the right plate for not just the application of the type of sport that you're going to be doing, but also like the appropriate plate for your body type. So. Even though I play roller derby, what I can tell you instantly about this plate is that this is a beginner, you know, intermediate uh, plate for any roller skater, okay? So whether you are, you know, getting started in roller derby or you just want a great trail skate plate, this is going to be an excellent intro option to cut your teeth on roller skating periods. So this plate is a... A lot of intro plates are nylon plates, but what's interesting about the Bont Prodigy plate is that is is that it is a nylon fiberglass composite. So, uh, for any intro plate, one of the number one things you struggle with is once you start getting better at your skills is a sensation of give and a sensation of flexibility. You want the trucks to give you the reaction, not the plate necessarily. So the fact that the Bont Prodigy plate ha is reinforced with fiberglass is going to help give it uh, a level of stiffness that you're not going to find in other nylon intro type plates. So have, you know, getting as much rigidity at this price point that you can is something that Bont really strives to do with this particular product. So. Another cool component to the Prodigy plate is that it is a 20 degree plate. If you uh, head over to the Athena review that I did, uh, that plate is also 20 degrees. So if you are planning on sticking with the Bont lineup, it will not feel weird to go from, you know, once you get to that point of upgrade, it will not feel weird to go from the Bont intro Prodigy plate to the Athena more advanced plate. Uh, you know, changing the degree plate, not only from uh, with internally within a brand, but from brand to brand can be vastly different types of performance and a vastly different feel. So if you grow to become comfortable with the Prodigy, then you're definitely going to be comfortable when you upgrade to the Athena. And then you'll be even more comfortable if you feel like upgrading to the Infinity. So like many intro plates, uh, the Prodigy plate does a great job of not having too many movable parts, kind of. Uh, what I mean to say by that is that the truck adjustment is super straightforward. It's a one-step process of, you know, tightening and loosening this nut. The axles all have 8 millimeter 
uh, are all eight millimeter nuts. So that's very standard. Uh, it's gonna fit a lot of different components, not just Bont specific components. So number one thing that I appreciate about the Prodigy plate is the Allen key adjustable toe stop part right there. Most intro nylon type plates have a like lock nut situation like on the stem of the toe stop. They're so aggravating, it makes me want to throw them through a window because there's just, you know, especially as a beginner skater, you're just trying to get your shit on in time to make it to practice and like, do, you know, you're doing these things and next thing you know, you're trying to work on your toe stop stuff at, from a beginner level and your toe stops spinning out. It is, to, it is very common uh, with intro type plates that aren't properly adjusted in the toe stop area to accidentally like rip the toe stop out of the threads and that's called stripping the threads. The Allen key adjustment is a far more effective way to tighten toe stops and you're going to have far less of that uh, stripping and the weirdness with the toe stop up in the front. This is just that's going to be something you really come to appreciate. With that said, uh, one thing I probably would recommend, uh, the toe stop that comes with the Prodigy is great for just all around skating. If you were buying this Prodigy plate, uh, for beginner intro level derby application, I would tell you that with the money you're saving by getting the plate, go get that Togo toe stop because having that uh, particular toe stop in this setup from the get-go, I personally feel is going to help you in your learning process. It's a little bit wider. It's got a little bit uh, better action, uh, you know, components to it that we're, are going to help you in the learning process of learning how to use your toe stops. Not that these are bad, they're just, uh, they're gonna take a lot longer to wear in, whereas the Bont Togo already has the worn in angle built into it. So you're not gonna have to fight the uh, feeling of the toe stop to do the different things that we do in roller derby. Now, if you're getting these plates for outdoor recreational skating, this the toe stop that comes with it is gonna be just fine. Um, but I, I believe both toe stops are made out of the same uh, compound so you're still going to get the same level of grip and go power and stop power so that commentary is mostly for those of you looking for an intro derby plate all right folks thank you so much for checking out the bomb prodigy plate super lightweight great price point plate to get you started in roller skating and in roller derby so uh you know Try before you buy is something I always recommend in a high dollar or expensive sport. Like make sure you love it before you go buy something super spendy if uh, money is to be considered. So, and it usually is. Thank you for checking out the Bont Prodigy Plate.